Time to make this thing happen, dude. So, uh, quarantine, we're going to sit in our houses and, and just plug away at some of these things. And yesterday, he added a bunch of stuff to the stacking area, if you guys have noticed already on FC. So, uh, a few of you guys have talked about it. I saw on Discord, you guys were sending messages back and forth. That's pretty cool. Um, just kind of got acquainted with it yesterday. I was looking at it again this morning. Uh, while having just everything open on my other monitor and looks pretty cool, man. It's exactly what we talked about yesterday. Uh, and I think it stemmed from our CSGO talk and how CSGO as a sport, quote unquote, or a DFS sport, um, plays out. Uh, I, I don't know how the last couple of days have been, but just kind of speaking to what the strategy can be, should be is, 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 you know, little by little, even speaking with you guys, even at times when we don't agree, it just opens my eyes to uh, maybe better strategies, stuff that'll work a little bit more. Um, and and all that is just uh, reflected on what Dave uh, put into the product yesterday. So if you go to a regular, by the way, simple's nasty. Um, if you go to the advanced options now, you're just going to see a few different tables here. Obviously, this is a little bit different. So, so here's here's what we talked about, and this is where this derives from, right? This uh, last stream we talked about, and it kind of happened towards the end of the stream. So, if you want to rewatch that, I think it'll be in the last twenty minutes or so. But if you go back to last stream, we said, well, what's the relationship between a winning team and a losing team in the same game, of course? And the relationship, I think, is Unless it's just a really, really close game, I don't know, 16-14, uh, 16-14, 16-14, uh, then I think the relationship is kind of obvious, right? Where if I were to stack three guys from OG and I don't set any sort of limits, I could get three guys potentially a Fnatic, right? That's, that's normal um, because there's no... Uh, there's no setting restricting something like this. Whereas now, even if we set team stacks or position stacks or whatever, you can still have a minimum or a maximum of each team if you were to select a stack from that team, right? So again, the way we do this or the way Dave thinks of stuff, the way we've all thought of stuff when implementing stuff into FC is make it as easy to understand as possible, right? Where if... You just read and kind of just fill in the blanks. You'll have exactly what you want, right? So um, you have your global settings here where you have players match max from each team. You can set that. And if you don't know, you can just hover. Choose the minimum and maximum number of players that can be selected from any team. So let's just put this at two. Let's just say as an example, everything switches to two. Players from game max. So if I were gonna, if I was gonna stack mouse sports here and say I'll have two of these guys, um, if I have one coming back, what's the max that I would want from one game, right? Um, probably three. Let's just randomly say three. Um, and then if I want to limit opposing players, which will kind of be the same thing, right? It'll be uh, one coming from the opposite team, right? So let's say it stacks Navi here, right? Let's say it stacks simple uh, device, or I don't even know who's on this team anymore. All the all the uh, all the studs on on Navi, then you have two guys from here, and it'll be one from Mouse, right? Same thing with two from OG, one from Fnatic, or vice versa. And that way you can cap some of this stuff. Where if you have three threes, um, it's still a possibility you can get three threes where teams just it's it's. You're putting yourself in a really bad spot just stacking two teams against each other when you need the win um, and a lot of frags and GLA and all that stuff, right? So um, you almost never want to play two teams against each other. A table like this will let you stop that. I think something like this is what we were missing from the beginning to where we had a lot of useful settings, stuff we could use, and stuff that would make our lineups a lot better. But when making 150, it was hard to have all 150 be perfectly made lineups, right? And I think that's the vision we want now for all these lineups and all the lineups we're going to make. 
I think um, we've heard also that a lot of people do use FC to populate lineups, um, but then stu do stuff outside of FC before inputting them into DK. Um, we thought, well, I mean, cool, they're probably smarter or whatever, but how can we make it to where you don't have to do anything outside of uh, FC, right? And, and slowly we want to be able to have everyone do everything they want to do in FC. I think this is a huge step towards that. So another thing we added, which you kind of saw here, was um, positions, right? So this will allow for just a little more custom stacks, if you will, right? This allows finer control of the players who will count towards the stack size. An unchecked position may still be used in the lineup, but would not count towards the stack requirement requested. So here's what this means. Let's say we leave this at, let's say we add two, right? And this one will be two players and we uncheck the captain spot and we add all eligible teams. The two players that come from here have to be players, not captains. But like, okay, so let's say we have OG as our two-man stack here. Since we still have one more player in the lineup left, um, if it determines that an OG player can still be fit at captain, it'll still use him while still using the two OG players here. You know what I mean? So this is at least, pretend these boxes mean at least, where at least two players in position spots from OG or whoever the stack is going to be, but it could still use a captain from the same team if it determines that is the most optimal way to build the lineup. And I think now with these tools for CSGO and League, you do have the ability to do that. Um, not just quickly, efficiently, but you can try anything you want now. For those that say, oh, three twos are better, three threes are better, you can try them both. You can go back a lot. Uh, but how about three threes without using stacks from the opposing team uh, or maybe just one or maybe how about just using two guys from a team and only just one from the other team at a minimum or at a maximum and playing players from like so many things, so many things you can be there forever. And I love it because it just gives us more to play around with. The more we have, the better, man.